Respiratory Syncytial Virus, RSV, Pediatrics Introduction Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, is a virus that can cause an infection in the airways of the lungs. It mostly affects babies and young children. RSV starts with symptoms like those of the flu and a cold. Then it turns into wheezing and coughing. In most cases, the child's body fights the infection and the symptoms go away. There are things you can do to help your child be more comfortable. In some cases, the symptoms of RSV could become more severe. Knowing what these symptoms are is important so your child can get care quickly. This patient education program is for parents with children who may get or already have RSV. It will give you tips for preventing RSV in your child, tell you what causes it, what the symptoms are, how to treat it, and when to call the doctor. The lungs. RSV is a virus. It can cause an infection in the lungs. This section helps make it easier to understand infections caused by RSV. The lungs let us fill our blood with oxygen. The oxygen we breathe goes into our blood through the lungs. When we breathe in, the air goes through our mouth and nose and into our windpipe, also called the trachea. From the trachea, the air we breathe goes into a lot of little tubes called bronchial tubes. The smallest tubes are called bronchioles. All along the inside of our bronchial tubes, we have a substance called mucus. The mucus helps trap dirt from the air we breathe in. The mucus comes out when we cough. Very small brushes called cilia protect the breathing tube and lungs. The cilia constantly push the mucus out of the lungs. If there is too much mucus, we cough it out. The bronchioles are very small tubes inside the lungs. Select true or false. Correct. Causes. The air we breathe has germs in it. Our immune system protects our lungs from infection by fighting most germs like viruses and bacteria. Sometimes, though, germs are able to get past the immune system and down into our lungs. When that happens, it can cause inflammation in the lungs. Inflammation is the immune system's normal response to contaminants or injury. The inflammation of the bronchioles is called bronchiolitis. When a child has bronchiolitis, the bronchioles can fill with pus mucus, and other fluids. When the infection affects the whole lung, it is called pneumonia. In adults and older children, the bronchioles are wide because they've had time to grow. In babies and younger children, the bronchioles haven't had time to grow, so they are still pretty narrow. That's why babies and young children have more problems breathing when their airway is blocked by pus, mucus, and other fluids. Most cases of bronchiolitis in children are caused by RSV. Antibiotics do not fight viruses well. For that reason, doctors usually cannot order antibiotics to fight bronchiolitis or RSV. Viruses that cause bronchiolitis are in the air we breathe and the things we touch, just like the viruses of the flu and cold. We can get them from each other. It takes a certain amount of time, usually days, for a virus to cause an infection if the body doesn't fight it off. Bronchiolitis is contagious, which means it spreads from person to person. Preventing bronchiolitis is always better than treating it. You can prevent your child from getting viral infections by washing your hands and staying away from other people who have bronchiolitis. The respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, causes most cases of bronchiolitis in children. Select true or false. Correct. Bronchiolitis and RSV affect only children. Select true or false. Correct. Bronchiolitis and RSV also affect adults and older children, 
However, babies and young children are affected more severely because their lungs and immune systems are not fully developed. RSV is contagious. Select true or false. Correct. Symptoms. Signs and symptoms of RSV infections are similar to those of a common cold. Like the common cold virus, most cases of RSV bronchiolitis occur in winter and early spring. Most children with RSV get some of the following symptoms. Fever. Chills. Cough. Runny nose. These symptoms last about 48 hours. Then the child's cough usually gets worse and he or she may start wheezing. In most babies, the symptoms get better on their own. However, sometimes they get worse. They start having fast, shallow breathing. It also gets harder for the child to breathe. This is called labored breathing. The child may also gasp for air, causing the nostrils to get bigger or flare. The heart rate can get faster and they can become irritable, tired, and sleepy. They may not eat as well and may vomit after coughing. The child may even stop breathing for short periods of time. As things get worse, the child may become dehydrated and not be able to fill his or her blood with oxygen, causing the skin and the fingernails to turn a bluish color. In severe cases of RSV, the child may have to be admitted to a hospital and placed temporarily on a machine that helps him or her breathe better. Which of the following symptoms is more specific to RSV than the common cold? Choose one of the following options. One. Fever. 2. Runny nose. 3. Wheezing of the lungs. Correct. Wheezing means that the small tubes in the lungs may be blocked by mucus and pus, which is more likely to be seen with RSV and bronchiolitis. Self-care. Most cases of RSV last about two weeks. However, some children may have a cough for a few more weeks. Most children who have RSV get better on their own. The following are things you can do to make your child more comfortable if he or she has RSV. Encourage your child to drink a lot of fluid to prevent dehydration. Use vaporizers and humidifiers to help loosen the mucus. Have the child sit up to help breathing. Use a bulb syringe to lessen nasal congestion, especially before eating. You can give acetaminophen or Tylenol, but always read the label carefully to make sure you give the right dose. Do not give aspirin or medications that include aspirin to babies. They can cause serious side effects in young children. Do not allow anyone to smoke in the house. Ask him or her to smoke outside. Smoking can make the symptoms of RSV worse. Humidifiers can help loosen the mucus and make it easier to be coughed out. Select true or false. Correct. Vaporizers and humidifiers can help to loosen the mucus. However, steam and hot water humidifiers should not be used because hot steam can burn baby's lungs. When to see a doctor. If your child's symptoms become severe, you should call your doctor. Your baby may have to be admitted to the hospital and placed on a breathing machine. Severe cases of RSV can be life-threatening if not treated. Things to watch for are very fast breathing, breathing that is labored and causing abnormal movement of the neck and upper chest, high fever, coughing that's getting worse, not better, dehydration, increased sleepiness, bluish discoloration of the skin, lips, and or fingernails. A doctor can usually diagnose RSV by examining your child and asking you a few questions. During the exam, the doctor will listen to your child's lungs with a stethoscope to check for bubbling or crackling sounds. He or she will also listen for rumblings, which means there's thick liquid in the lungs. Any of these sounds could mean they have an infection. Sometimes a chest x-ray is needed to help the doctor to know if your child has RSV. The baby may also have blood tests to check if there is an infection. You should call the doctor if your child has signs of dehydration. Select true or false. Correct. Signs of dehydration include sunken eyes, dry mouth and skin, 
tiredness, and little or no urinary output. Treatment In severe cases of RSV, the doctor can order medication that will open up the airways in the child's lungs. If the child has complications from RSV, he or she may need to stay at the hospital. At the hospital, the healthcare providers will help the child breathe better with oxygen and or special breathing machines. If needed, fluids are given through a vein to prevent dehydration. The doctor usually gives antibiotics to treat RSV. Select true or false. Correct. Antibiotics are not good at fighting viral infections, so they are not usually ordered for RSV since it's a viral infection. Prevention Babies who are at a high risk of getting RSV may be given a monthly shot for a few months to prevent RSV infections. Babies with a high risk of getting RSV are those born prematurely or with heart or lung problems. RSV is contagious. You can help keep your child from getting bronchiolitis and RSV infections by following good habits, such as keeping your child away from other children with bronchiolitis and other infections, washing your hands often with warm, soapy water, keeping your child away from the toys or personal belongings of other children who have or are just getting over bronchiolitis or other infections, not exposing your baby to secondhand smoke, RSV is contagious. Select true or false. Correct. The RSV viruses are usually found in nose and mouth fluids. Sneezing or coughing may spread the infection to others. Conclusion RSV is a virus. It causes lung infections such as bronchiolitis. It mostly affects babies and children two years old and younger. See your doctor right away if your baby has any of these symptoms for more than a few days. Severe coughing spells, shortness of breath, labored breathing, fever, drowsiness or tiredness, dehydration, bluish skin or fingernails. Preventing RSV infections and bronchiolitis is always better than treating them. You can prevent RSV by using good habits. Keep your child away from other children with infections. Wash your hands often with warm, soapy water. Keep your child away from the toys or personal belongings of other children who have or are just getting over infections. Don't expose your baby to secondhand smoke. With good habits, you can do a lot to prevent your child from getting RSV. However, it is good to know what to watch for in case your child does get RSV. Call your doctor's office if you have questions.